Hey guys, this is Aaron from MyTurtleStore.com. Make sure to check out our large selection of supplies, equipment, habitats, and food, and everything else that you need for aquatic turtles and tortoises. Also, check out our huge selection of live turtles and tortoises as well, shipped straight to your door. Now, I'm going to be going over an aquatic turtle habitat setup for you today. Now, I'm going to be going over some of the key things in this setup that you need to know uh, for setting up an aquatic turtle habitat that I'm setting up for my hatchling. Uh, now, I'm not going to go huge into details with some of the different lightings and stuff like that. I will save that for a little bit later in other videos. That way I can go right into specific details and give you guys the information you need to know on that. So there's a couple key things that you want to make sure that you're using when you set up an aquatic turtle habitat. First area, and I feel it's most important, is the basking area. Now there's many different forms that these come in. There's islands like this, there's little ramps, logs, anything like that. You can check out our huge selection at our store on MyTurtleStore.com. So with this one, there's a couple key features you want to look for when looking for any type of basking platform. The key thing is you want this to float and sink with the water levels. Now, nothing's worse than having the water level evaporate down so low, maybe you don't realize it and there's a gap between the actual platform and the water. Your turtle can't get up on the basking area which is crucial, you want an area where these guys can dry off and heat up, and you want that. So the other thing is, is suction cups. You want to make sure that this is anchored to the aquarium glass, and that way it's not floating around, spinning around, and making it inaccessible to your turtles to bask on. So this is one of the most important things I feel in an aquatic turtle habitat. Plus it fits nice in this 20 gallon tank, and it gives us something a little bit nicer to look at. And that's why. I chose this one. So the next thing is gravel. Now gravel can be a hit or miss. Some people love it, some people don't. Um, I like to just choose a larger pebble. That way there's no chance of them swallowing anything if they miscalculate uh, a snap at something, food or anything sinking down. Uh, and that way there's no problems there. So the next area is going to be the most important part as well, besides the basking area. But without the basking area, you don't have this. So you want a basking area for your turtle to warm up and to also get the needed UVA and UVB that they need. So you're going to need two different lamps. And there's a couple different ways you can do this, but here's the way I'm doing it. So you can use a basking lamp right here, and this is for the heat. I'm going to be using a 75 watt bulb. The wattage depends on the different types of, you know, if, if your house is colder, if it's warmer, how big the tank is, the different types of tanks, and the depth of it. Uh, now, I'm going to be using the Compact Fluorescent uh, Reptisun UVB bulb, the 5.0. The reason being is that this tank is shallow enough and short enough uh, that it falls right in the range of the 9 inches that these bulbs require to be adequate for your turtle to get the required UVB rays. Uh, so, these are nice. Like I said, I'll put links down below to everything that you need to buy that I'm showing you on the turtle habitat setup. But these are great because it's definitely crucial for bone development and shell development for your turtle to have the UVB. It's crucial. Without proper UVB and diet, their shells deform, you have problems. So you definitely want the UVB and the basking lamp. And what's nice is both those, both those bulbs will go into a clamp lamp right here. Now, I just have this clamped up so you can see it, but you'll want a screen top on top, that way, A, nothing can get into it if you have cats, dogs, children, anything like that, and it kind of helps things from falling down inside of the tank, so you definitely want a screen top. And that way the basking lamps will rest on top of it as well. And there's also a couple different clamp lamps, you can do the single style or the double style, uh, and then if you have a larger tank with a larger surface area that you need to get the UVB to your turtle to, they also sell it in fluorescent lights. Uh, which gives it a little bit longer and a little bit bigger of an area for you to use it for. Next is going to be a filter. I have a small little filter right here. And this is perfect because it filters the water, it gives a water movement. Uh, this output can circulate around, spin around, and that way there's not too much current in the tank. And not having too much current is crucial because, let's just face it, with these little guys, sometimes they're not the strongest swimmers. They're still developing all those muscles to become the maximum swimmer they can be. And you don't want too much water movement because it can injure them. So, the key thing that you want to have is a thermometer in the aquarium. You want to make sure that you're keeping the water at the adequate temperature. And I'm going to be keeping mine about 78. So, you can either do a digital thermometer from Zoomed. 
There's also these strips that you can do. Each have their own advantages. I personally like the digital thermometer. That way it reads out the temperature right then and there. You don't have to second guess it. So when it comes to checking the temperature, you also want to make sure you have an aquatic heater. Now these are nice because with the ones from Tetra, they're caged. Now, the other thing that you don't want to kind of do is you want to kind of stay away from the glass ones, especially with the bigger guys because they can tend to shatter them. Whereas this heater, as you can see, has a cage built around it, a suction cups right to it, and this is actually preset to keep your temperature of your aquarium at 78 degrees. Now this is for tanks up to 30 gallons as well, so it's perfect for different aquarium settings. Now keep in mind that even though this is a 20 gallon tank, I'm not going to have it filled all the way up to the 20 gallon mark, so make sure to keep that in mind when you're selecting your heater as well. So, next part when it comes to adding water into your aquarium. Now, adding tap water, you can do it. You just want to make sure that you get rid of anything harmful in the aquarium water. Now this is perfect because you also want something that you know is going to work, you can put in, and it takes effect immediately. So you can also use this water conditioner right here. This also has calcium in it, and that way they can absorb the calcium and make sure they don't have any type of soft shell, anything like that. Um, so what's cool about this is it actually dissolves as soon as you put it in. So as soon as you put it in, it starts dissolving, breaking up, and it makes the water stay for your turtle. So now, after you've conditioned the water, you added the water, you've added everything else, you have the tank going, of course you have a little guy or girl, little hatching that you have, and this is where the most crucial part of taking care of your turtle is, besides clean water, is making sure you feed these guys the awesomest, perfect, proper diet that they need. Uh, so we have a hatchling formula right here. You can check out our store. I'll put a link down below where you can check it out. And this is nice because it's like a micro pellet. It's perfect size for little hatchlings. They don't have to worry about the sticks, breaking them up, anything like that. It's perfect for them to get their mouth around. And that way they get the proper diet. So. You also, we have feeding instructions on these. Do four to six of these little pellets two times a day, uh, and it's perfect. So you really can't beat the deal um, for this awesome food. So make sure to check out MyTurtleStore.com for all of your turtle and tortoise needs, equipment, and supplies that you need, as well as our live turtles and tortoises that we have, the huge, huge selection that we have sent straight to your door. So again, thank you for watching, guys. This is how to set up an aquatic turtle habitat. Thank you for watching.